A terrifying day for families in the North College Hill area in that school district. Two schools put on lockdown today after a shooting that happened on campus. And thanks for joining us here at 10 o'clock. I'm Mike Dardis. The lockdown lifted a short time later. No kids were hurt. WLWT News 5's Jatera McGee joining us here in the studio with what we're learning from police tonight. Jatera? Well, Mike, the shooting victim was hit in the leg. He's expected to survive. Meanwhile, police are still looking for whoever shot that man on a school campus. We're at North College Hill Middle School and I heard a gunshot and I see somebody's down on the ground. A school employee was one of the first to alert 911. Someone had just been shot on North College Hill City Schools campus. This little uh, young boy shot my baby dad. Right here in the back of North College Hill School. A man was shot in the leg near the football stadium. So my first response was, was it a student? Was it a parent? The situation immediately triggered a lockdown for the whole campus. This was an outside threat. It wasn't a threat where individuals were trying to get into the building. It wasn't a threat where we had an active shooter or anything like that. This is an incident that happened in the neighborhood. And as a precaution, we had to lock down to make sure that our students and our staff were safe. Superintendent Eugene Blaylock Jr. says as police were searching the campus for the shooter, he was in close communication with police and sent at least three alerts to parents as the situation unfolded. It all happened about 40 minutes before school normally lets out. It was a blessing that it happened at 2 10 yeah. uh, before the students were out. Parents showing up to pick up their kids were understandably on edge. I have numerous parents that are not happy. Police determined the incident did not involve any students. I hate that it's getting closer and closer. You know, I'm not one of those that say it can never happen here because gun violence is something we need to deal with. And it's uh, a situation or something that's happening everywhere. Now, ultimately, students were released around 315, about a half hour later than normal. North College Hill Police haven't released any suspect information just yet, but they did say the shooter and suspect did not know each other and had some kind of altercation before the shooting. The search for the shooter still ongoing. Jatara McGee, WNWT News 5. All right.